Yes, mystery Steam reviews is the part of the PC Gaming Week spot where I, Colin Mahern, and he, Matthew Castle, test the knowledge of one another via mystery Steam reviews. Not regular Steam reviews, that would be a little bit boring. Uh, if you're unaware, here are the, the rules, not the reviews, the rules. Uh, so, both I and Matthew bring st uh, three Steam reviews to the MSR Arena, but we omit the name of the game associated with each review. Uh, our opponent must correctly guess the game attached to each review. One correct answer equals one point. While both of us have 90 seconds on each MSR, we both also have help in the form of three lifelines. These lifelines can be used at any stage during battle and also pause the 90 second timer. Each lifeline can only be used once and they are as follows. Question, where the hot seat haver gets to ask a yes or no question, second opinion, where a second review is given to the warm chair sitter and genre, where the genre of the game is revealed to the one with the warm arse. So, because of Indiana Jones, mainly, and also Star Wars 2, this week's Mystery Steam Reviews centers on licensed video games based on pre-existing film properties. Simple enough, really. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's crack on then, Matthew, if that is all, all oh, clear. Excellent. Uh, so here is your very no first. Shenanigans this week. No shenanigans. Not a single shenanigans. Yeah, exactly. All right. None of your fucking Command and Conquer. You got <laughs> you got away with murder with that Command and Conquer thing. Anyway, Matthew, here is your first mystery Steam review. Got this game to play co-op four player with three friends. I ran into two problems. One, one of my friends won't buy the game because of the negative reviews for it. And two, I don't have two other friends. That's from Aki. Uh, it is recommended 14.4 hours on record, 12.6 hours a time of review. Matthew, your time starts now. I got this game to play co-op four player with friends. I ran into two problems. There's negative reviews of it. Mm. Mm. Don't have two other friends. Mm. Four player with three friends. Oh, okay. Because them. Them, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so co-op games based on films. Um, you can... Oh, this is tricky. Because it's quite a limited pool of things, so I don't want to say loads of game names unless it triggers some inspiration for later answers uh, from you. Um, can I get oh, a genre we... for this? Okay, we're going to pause the timer at 42 seconds as Matthew enacts his genre lifeline. Okay, well, the genre of this video game is... I wrote it down here, where is it? Uh, the genre is a first-person shooter. A first-person shooter. The timer, which is at 42 seconds, is restarting now. A first-person shooter. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I thought, I was hoping you were going to say side-scrolling beat-em-up. I thought this was going to be a Scott Pilgrim. Um, but it is not. It's a first-person shooter. Games, military men, where you play as a squad. Uh, is that Predator game? They've been like aliens versus press colonial marines. Does Clon colonial marines have co op? It's Ten terrible. Seconds. Oh, god. I I'm gonna fuck it. Aliens, colonial marines. Is that your final answer? Yes, but I don't think it has co op. No, I said it. Shit. <laughs> Shit. So, got a, f a flash of inspiration there at the end, Matthew. Weren't entirely sure, was hoping I was going to say side-scrolling, you were going to go down Scott Pilgrim. But no, you've ended up on Aliens Colonial Marines. The review mentioned negative reviews. Aliens Colonial Marines, obviously. Quite negative reviews. Uh, but did it have co-op? I can tell you the correct answer is... Aliens Colonial Marines! Oh! I didn't think it had co-op. Oh well my done. God. Well done. Uh, so Matthew goes one nil oh, up. Oh my god! Did you ever play? Like it. Did you ever play it? Uh, I played like an hour of it. Did you think it was shit? Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, it's not great. Uh, Matthew, could I have my first Mystery Steam review, please? The gameplay is also very well made and unique, leaning on the inherent slowness and clunkiness of men wearing all that heavy equipment to create a heavy emphasis on the dodge mechanic to avoid big hits. Sorry, it's a wordy one from Mercury. Recommended 7.7 .7 hours on record. Okay, time starts now. Oh, ha. Huh. Uh, wow. This is dodge mechanic. Why would they mention the dodge mechanic unless the dodge mechanic was famous for whatever reason? Uh, men wearing all that heavy equipment. Oh, I have no idea. I have aliens, colonial marines in my head. No, because of... <laughs> was there a famous dodge in that? Um, I am going to... I'm going to pause the timer at 55 seconds because, yeah, I'm lost. I have nothing. And uh, uh, will I use my genre lifeline? Um, yeah, do you know what? Could I have my genre, please, Matthew? First person shooter. This is described as an action adventure game. I'm, I am going to say, though, I think Wikipedia is, has uh, shit the bed with this one. <laughs> okay, 55 seconds, timer restarting, no. No, it's sort of true. Um, an action-adventure game, sort of, where there's a dodge mechanic and there's men wearing armour. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have no clue. Um... Oh, I don't want to dump too... Although I think I'm going to have to ask for my second opinion because I can't even... Oh, what a useless use of genre! Um... Uh... Fuck it. I'm going to pause the timer at 17 seconds because I, I just... I have nothing for you, Matthew. I have absolutely nothing. So, could I... Could I have my second opinion, please? Original cast and writers, it's everything an 80s kid could dream of and more. Um, an 80s film. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna restart the timer, 17 seconds. <sighs> Rambo the video game? That, I'm fairly sure that took lines just from the film. So it wasn't the cast per se. It's uh, all I have, Chris! Rambo, the video game. Is that your final answer? That is indeed my final answer. So, you're puzzled by this one, to the point that you've used two lifelines, you've used the genre, which told you it was an action, adventure, and a second clue, which said the original cast of writers returned. And it's everything an 80s kid could dream of. You've gone for Rambo? But was it the favourite film of 80s kids? The correct answer is... Ghostbusters the video game! Shit. Bustin makes you feel shit! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Not that second opinion, that's for sure. What was that second opinion again? Original cast and writers, it's everything uh, an 80s kid could dream of. Yeah. Wow. Mm, what a way, right, I this think is good. Describing it as an action adventure is a little rough. Like, if they'd said, like, third, third person. person. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, Rambo's first person, so that was a shit guess anyway. Uh, Matthew, would you like your second Mystery Steam review? War vet cusses at leaves and pets dog. And that ironically enough, is from Dr. Cat. It is not recommended and 5.0 hours on record. Your time, Matthew, starts now. Jesus. The hell is this? A war vet Rambo? But he pets dogs. I don't think he pets a dog. I don't see that being an interaction that would be in that game. Give me the second oh, opinion. Okay, we're going to pause the timer at 1.14. And Matthew is going to use his second opinion. So the second opinion of this is... A perfect replica of the first movie. 
especially when you get to the house. 10 out of 10 for fans. And your timer restarts now. First movie, you pet the dog and you go to a house. The house. The house. That isn't Rambo. Rambo doesn't go to a house. He just runs around a town shooting policemen. <laughs> That's not like, you don't go Rambo and they're like, I love the house. <laughs> the house, the first movie, so it's got to be part of a series and you go to a house. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And you pet a dog. First movie. He's a war vet and he goes, he goes. <laughs> Why are you laughing I'm just laughing at you repeating he's a war vet he pets a dog he goes to the house <laughs> he goes to the house like in the first film oh the house the iconic house where do you go it's not the shining that's a famous house um oh fuck. 10 seconds fuck me uh oh piss oh sh 3 seconds oh fuck I, I have no idea I don't know I can't, I literally can't think of anything where if... he goes to a house in the first film. What the fuck is it? Okay, well, for, we have to go through the official channels. Matthew is incorrect. Um, the correct answer was Blair Witch. Oh, no! Oh, the Blair Witch game, of course! He pets a fucking dog and he goes to the house. He goes to the house and oh. it had those fla those shite flashback sequences. I didn't mind. I actually quite. I thought the Blair Witch game was all right, but like <sighs> some of it, obviously not great. Uh, the you know what's and, and, and I, actually, also, I looked at that one yeah. and I went, Nah, that's too easy. <laughs> And uh, you would forget that, like, I feel like most people do, Blair Witch, technically a film series. There are more than yeah. just the original game or original film. Uh, Matthew, could I have my second Mystery Steam review, please? Yeah. You're able to play Steven Spielberg. He's throwing Oscars. 10 out of 10. Would throw again. Hey, if it's cares. Recommended. 32 hours on record. Time starts now. What? You're able to play Steven Spielberg? Play as him? Play against him? He's throwing Oscars. So that, that should be play as him. Okay. Uh, thank you um, for being honest. Um, you're able to play as Steven Spielberg. He's throwing Oscars. Steven Spielberg. What was that called? Steven Spielberg's The Director's Chair? <laughs> um, is that on Steam? Uh, or th was he involved in the movies? That wouldn't be a movie tie-in. That that's not a movie tie-in, correct, yes. Um, you're able to play a Steven Spielberg and it's a movie tie-in. He's throwing Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steven Spielberg games that are films that were games. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution, um, E.T., Back to the Future, the game, as in the Telltale thing, 15 seconds. Oh, oh God, I can't think of anything. Oh, no. Um, shit. Back to the Future is my final answer. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Oh, fuck it all to hell, Chris, it is, yes. So, Back to the Future, indeed a game made of a Steven Spielberg produced film. Mm, Are you man. able to play a Steven Spielberg in Back to the Future? No. Throwing his Oscars. The correct answer is... Lego Jurassic World. about those fucking Lego games. Of course it's a Lego game. <sighs> <laughs> S S S 
pretty devastating week for Mystery Steam reviews. Yeah, it's not going great this week. It's not going great. <laughs> um, Matthew, see if you can win us. Uh, go on, put the bullet in me. I um, intend to. Uh, here is your third and final mystery steam review when I get to the part where Hulk has to transform to stop the giant tesseract worm then it just stops and Hulk keeps winking at me and it says I have to press H but absolutely <laughs> nothing happens if someone know the reason to this please contact me in some way thank you and that's from Meyerd Meard. it is not recommended 9.8 hours on record 8.8 .8 hours a time of review Matthew your time starts now <laughs> what is Hokey winking? <laughs> uh, question. Oh, okay. We're going to pause the timer there. Uh, right, Matthew, you want to use your question. Uh, fire away. What is your question? Can I ask, is this a Lego game? Yes. No, you're no, nah, you're saying you're answering can I ask if it's a Lego game? <laughs> uh, Are you saying yes I can ask or yes it's a Lego game? Yes. It is a Lego game. Oh. Your timer restarts. No. Now which one though? Cuz there were several. Lego Marvel's Avengers is my final answer. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. <laughs> Matthew, your first thought was, why does Hulk keep winking at them? But your second thought was to use your question and ask if this was indeed a Lego game. It is. You've given me Lego Marvel's Avengers. I can tell you, Matthew, that the correct answer is... Lego Marvel's Avengers. Son of a bitch. What a fucking legend! Because I genuinely did forget about Lego uh, for your second one for me. So then I was like, right, I'm going to have to really hammer home the fact that I forgot Lego was even a concept. But no, you had that question. Excellent use of question, Matthew. Absolutely top notch. Go on. We have to go through the formalities. Give me my third and final mystery steam review, please. I didn't feel like the murder monster I was supposed to be. Too often, the best thing for the boogeyman to do was run away. Bogeyman, not boogeyman. Whatever. Mm. Cool, Jake. Not recommended. 6.8 hours on record. Uh, time starts now. Um, okay, let's try and get a consolation goal here. I didn't feel like the murder monster... Hitman. Um, a murder monster. So like a, a literal murder monster? Halloween. Uh, Friday the 13th. Just, yeah, like a, you don't play... Friday... How, you, you do play as... What's his job? Jason, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Friday the 13th, Chris. Why not, eh? Why not? I'm going to use that question. Fr all right. <laughs> Look, wait, all right. Okay. I'm going to pause the timer. Uh, going to use the question. Forgot I had it. Uh, is this a based on a horror film franchise? No. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Okay, restart the timer now. What? <laughs> oh, dear. Um... It's not based on a horror. Oh, I'm lost. Uh. Unless it like, um, oh, Terminator? Is there a game where you play as the Terminator? What was the last Terminator game? Did they make one for like Genesis? Ah, uh, there was a Terminator game, wasn't there? Oh, I can't fucking remember what that was called. The, 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 
Terminator uh, Genesis? I don't know. Is that your final answer? Sure. You've had a terrible run of it. You thought you had Friday the 13th, but then you used the question wisely, I should add, to identify it was not a horror film. You identified another famous murder monster, the Terminator. And you gave me Terminator Genesis as the name of that game. The correct answer is John Wick Hex. I thought you were going to get it because you said Hitman. Oh, yeah. You were like, Hitman? I was like, oh, shit. And then you went down the horror route, which is what I hoped you'd do. (laughs) Then you pulled yourself out of the horror route, and I was like, oh, shit, we're back in the Hitman zone. But you went for Terminator. (laughs) There was, uh, I'm not going mad, though. There was a recent Terminator game, wasn't there? I think. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if it was on PC. Uh, Maybe it wasn't. Oh, who cares? Congratulations, Matthew. Fucking load of old shite.